What's going on boys? Quinn69 here. Long time no see. Obviously it's because I got addicted to this game, World of Warcraft. I mean, it's insane. There's so much content coming out like crazy and I'm having a, a basically a great time. And uh, I have a really kind of frequently asked question which cannot be answered easily. So I decided why don't we make a guide for it. This is going to be my first World of Warcraft guide. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is a guide on how to use SimCraft, how to get it, how to use it, uh, how to use Pawn as well. That will come into it. We're going to be teaching you guys about this add-on. Basically, you guys are going to be able to work out how to find out what items are upgrades. So, as you can see there, down in the bottom of the tooltip, it says uh, this item is a 5% upgrade. Okay? People people see these tooltips and they're like, dude, where do I get that add-on? I just want to download an add-on that's going to instantly tell me uh, what when an item is basically going to be an upgrade, right? Uh, That'd be awesome if that was if it was that, if it was that easy and I could just say, be like, oh, dude, just go down this add-on porn and it's going to tell you exactly, uh, you know, what an upgrade is and what it isn't. Uh, it's not as easy as that. This add-on here is a shell, okay? It, 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 by, with the default settings, it does have some default settings. Uh, it's, I guess it's uh, somewhat okay, uh, but it's pretty much trash. I would say it's just basically just a shell, but if you program this add-on, with your own customized manual settings specific for your character based on simulations that you've done it can actually accurately tell you what item is better you know A or B you can see here I've got two shoulder pads we've got a 860 pair of shoulder pads I'm wearing 860 pair I can see that this pair of shoulder pads is actually going to be 5% better than my previous pair uh, based on the item stat weights that we have plugged into porn Okay, now you're going to be like, oh, dude, so I can just steal uh, your, your stat weights. I get asked that a lot, like, oh, Quinn, what are your stat weights? I want to copy them. Okay, that does not work. It's completely tailored to your character because if you have, say my character has a ton of haste, right? Say I have a crap ton of haste. The more haste I have, the less value it has in the long run, right? Because I'm, I'm stacking it far too much. And it's going to buff the value of the other stats and lower the value of haste. Then you go, you know, plug my profile in, and your character has absolutely no haste, and it's actually... For you, it's worth you know two or three times the amount that it's worth for me. And you basically just screwed yourself over. So, the question is, how do you get your own stat weights? And it's SimCraft. Let's show you where to get it. Uh, show you how to download it. So you want to head over to simulationcraft.org. The link will be in the description below. Then once you're there, just hit downloads. If you've got a 32-bit system, just download the 32-bit installer. 64-bit system, 64-bit uh, installer. The program does use a bit of CPU power and it's, uh, you know, simming because it's doing, you know, tens of thousands of iterations uh, to get like a really accurate result. If you want, you can get like the little beta builds so that, you know, the most up-to-date builds, but they can be a little bit buggy because they're not, you know, as tested as the official releases. I'm mo I mainly just use the, uh, you know, 64-bit version because I'm on a 64-bit system and the official release. Uh, once that bad boy is downloaded, all you want to gonna do is just you know install it like you'd install anything else, and you're gonna get something like this. Boom. So now that we're in the software, I just want to kind of point out to you guys that Simulation Craft is not made by Blizzard. It's not magically running off the game code, and it's, it's you know it's not gonna give you the 100% you know perfect answer as to how much damage you're gonna put out. Uh, what it is is it's made by a bunch of guys, a bunch of awesome guys, who manually painstakingly go into the game figure out all of the uh, procs per minute of all the trinkets who manually plug in all of the uh, you know damage each thing deals and they manually do everything some guy will actually you know some, some someone's actually sat down and programmed in you know the optimal uh, rip rotation based off you know human logic and there's gonna be mistakes you know there's gonna be like underestimations and overestimations everywhere right but it's gonna be pretty goddamn accurate right it's just not gonna be perfect it's not gonna so the, the truth is here simcraft will generally underestimate a little bit behind the truth uh so say you're simming 500k dps uh then you could probably do like 510 in the game something like that anyway just to kind of put put that out there first it's not 100 percent perfect and sometimes if there's a brand new patch and there's a bunch of new items and there hasn't been that much testing done sometimes you know one trinket will like be overperforming in simcraft and underperforming in the game uh, that'll generally get fixed pretty fast because everyone will, you know post in and someone will go in there and actually manually fix it uh, but i'm just trying to put that out there that this is not perfect but still it's leaps and bounds ahead of just guessing or just going with your gut feeling this will give you a pretty accurate result almost every time just wanted to put that out there 
So now that you're in, uh, first thing you want to do is just check, uh, have you got the latest version? Boom, check at the top left. I have the latest version because we just downloaded it. Bada bing, bada boom. So now you're going to want to import your character. To do this, you simply go to the import tab. Uh, you can just put your armory link in down the bottom here. So I can just put my armory link in down there and press import. And that's just going to go ahead and grab my character's uh, stuff from the armory. But you got to remember, the armory is kind of weird how it updates. You know, you log out, sometimes it updates, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, then on top of that, sometimes uh, this can just glitch out a little bit and not get your artifact weapon quite right. Uh, so what I would suggest is actually just getting an add-on called Simulation Craft. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Okay, so this is not the Simulation Craft uh, program you just downloaded. This is an add-on. You can just get it from Curse. I will link it down below as well. Or if you can just go into your Curse and just type in literally Simulation Craft. What that will allow you to do is just in-game. I can just press uh, forward slash sim c enter. It's going to bring up this big block of text. All you do is just press control A, control C, and you're just going to get all that. That's all your character. It's going to grab all your artifact, uh, you know, traits. It's going to grab all the items equipped, all that good stuff. And then you just alt tab back into the your SimCraft program. Um, and then you just control A again, and then control V. So paste, you know. And then boom, your character's imported. And from here, you now have the information uh, the program needs to basically give you some results. Uh, but to do that, you first of all need to set up the options. Uh, in terms of the default options, they're pretty good. Uh, this is what I'm running. So I'm running uh, 25k iterations, length 300 seconds. It's like 5 minute fight, very length 20%. Fight style patchwork, so there's no movement or anything. I think this will give you a good idea. Um, I don't really uh, see... I mean, yeah, you can kind of change things to light movement, heavy movement, so there's going to be downtime and stuff like that. Uh, but I would suggest just doing patchwork simulations, and then you can kind of estimate, oh, yeah, if I'm going to be moving, oh, well, this could be a slightly better setup or whatever. Uh, but these are the default settings, and they're pretty good. You can also simulate more than one enemy if you want to. I've done that a few times for, you know, you know, for Mythic Plus farming, if I'm trying to like, optimize my AoE set, you know, for doing, like, five targets on average or four targets on average. Uh, you can do that, and then you can change it. So say you want to uh, change the boss difficulty or whatever, or you want to sim for PvP. I've never done that before, but you can. Then you want to go into scaling tab. This is a, uh, this is pretty important because uh, this is what you need. You, you, so a lot of people, you know, get SimCraft, import the character, manage to sim it, and then they're wondering why they can't get the stat weights. The reason you can't get your stat weights is because you haven't enabled scaling. So you want to go on here, enable scaling. Um, you know, depending on what class you're playing, just just literally, you know, I, I just sim strength and edgy, and it would just won't sim edgy because I'm a red pally. Obviously, it works that out. Uh, but, you know, if you're, whatever, a mage, just intellect, you know, if you're a uh, enhanced shaman, edgy, uh, you can have both enabled. And then you're just going to do crit, haste, mastery, verse. Uh, weapon DPS uh, is not really relevant anymore with artifact weapons, obviously. Back in the day, you could. And you can put in, like, bonus stats. I think this is just kind of like a waste of time. You can kind of make up your mind in-game whether or not it's worth to, you know, lose, like, 2% um, damage value and then gain, like, a, you know, a secondary stat. I would suggest just using uh, these here. And then um, buffs and debuffs. I have it set up for everything. So this is going to give you heroism. This is going to give you your best pot. This is going to give you, like, you know, all of your debuffs that you need. Um, and all your buffs, for example. So it's gonna, basically it's simming your best case raid scenario. Because this is obviously simming for raid setups. It's not simming for you just doing damage on a target dummy. Uh, this is set up for best case scenario. And then uh, literally all you do is you hit simulate. And this is where it kind of just absolutely just wrecks your computer. And it's going to just sit here and just sim like crazy. Uh, depending on how many iterations you have. Because I'm running 25k iterations. You don't need to. You can just use like 10k. Um, but if you're running something that has like a high degree of variance. Something like my Enhancement Shaman. Every single time I simmed it. It was giving me like a, you know, a few k DPS difference. And I didn't like that. So that's why I increased the amount of iterations. And that gave me a more kind of average result. And then you can kind of work out. You know, because remember, it is simming your average. So so sometimes you're going to, like for an enhancement charm, for example, the degree of variance is pretty big. Um, you know, you, sometimes you're going to get bad procs and you're going to perform poorly. Other times you're going to get good procs and you're going to perform great. A more extreme example is something like a, uh, uh, what are those, those roll the dice rogues where they can sometimes roll, you know, back to back five in a row, and, you know, just keep getting five over and over again. So they have a huge degree of variance. Um, so I would suggest putting more iterations in to get like a more averaged out result. 
Well, so that's how I see it anyway. And boom, we are done. So as you can see here, there is a lot of stuff, okay? There is a absolute ton of information. And if I was to try to go through all of this, it would really just kind of confuse you guys. I mean, the main useful tools are up the top. Um, I mean, pretty much you can see like your damage per execute time. So like the best buttons to press. You can see which ones do the most per press. You can see your damage sources. You can work out like, oh, look, my necklace enchant is doing 2.1% damage. And you can see like, you know, how your damage is actually dealt as a red pally. Every uh, wings, you can see I do like a huge burst. My opener burst is always the most. But what we are looking for is this right here. This here is the scale factors uh, for your character. This is the stat weights that everyone keeps talking about. And basically it tells you what stats are good for you. Uh, so you can see here my best strats versus then strength. Uh, strength is equal to haste. And then it's slightly better than crit, which is you know, like my worst stat is mastery. And you can see here, so every point of uh, verse is like 13.8 damage. Every point of strength is 12.34 just keeps going down down and down and this is what you plug in to pawn to work out what is going to be an upgrade and what is going to be a downgrade now obviously you can't just one and done this you can't just grab this uh thing here plug it into pawn and be like oh i'm done because obviously these stat weights change every time you get a new item it's going to modify your stat weights and, it's, and you're going to have to get a new string thankfully it's very very easy to import Okay, first thing you're going to need to do is uh, you're going to need the add-on pawn. So just go to curse. Um, it's P-A-W-N, guys. P -A get your minds out of the gutter. P-A-W-N. I've obviously already installed it. You just install this add-on. The link to this add-on will be below. And then you just go into the game. Type in four slash P-A-W-N. And then all you're going to do here is uh, go into scale. You're going to turn it to manual mode. Okay, manual mode, boys. You're going to then click import. And you're just going to go Control v because we obviously, in SimCraft, I don't know if I said that, I just double-clicked on this, I just right-clicked it, I went Copy, or you can just Control c it, whatever. Uh, then in, in the add-on, you just literally Manual Mode, Import, Control v press OK. And every time it'll just overwrite, because it'll by default just call it the Quinn Rat Profile, and yeah, boom. So I just updated my, my string. I actually think I just screwed myself over because I had the wrong gear on, right? Yeah, I've got, I just, I just kind of screwed my pawn string over. I had the wrong shoulders on uh, but it's whatever guys I'm just showing you guys how to do it and now you can see uh, all the little upgrade things are gonna pop up and you'll be you'll be able to accurately work out is this an upgrade is it is it a downgrade what's going on here now remember this only works for stat stick items so it does not compare like it, it, this pawn doesn't know that this ring teleports me to Karazhan pawn doesn't know um, you know what this proc is you know it doesn't know that, that faulty countermeasure has an on-use effect right it is just looking at the crit strike so obviously at, at pawn by default i think it's just disabled on trinkets you can see down it's got it's got the exact raw number and uh, you know in terms of points it's worth that's worth 11k points versus my other trinket 37k um which is com completely wrong because it's only judging by stats so to work out uh, you know any item versus another item if it has a proc you need to simulate that Okay, guys, you need to simulate that. So SimCraft will tell you the difference between procs. SimCraft um, has all of the, you know, procs programmed into it, and it can tell you which is better and which is worse. Uh, a really useful thing as well is going to be uh, comparison. This is actually taught to me by one of my Twitch viewers, and it's one of the coolest things ever. Let's show you how to sh do a comparison. So recently, I got this trinket right here called the Change of the Valorous. And obviously, because I had two best in slot trinkets already, I wanted to know, uh, you know, what's better? Is this worth it? You know, is it going to be an upgrade? Is it going to be a downgrade? What trinket combination will be the best? And I went through and I was manually simming all these different setups, trying to work out what is the best setup. And uh, one of my Twitch viewers was like, dude, you're doing it wrong. You should do it like this. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. So all you do is you just get a, you know, you forward slash sim C, bring up your profile like you would just before, control C it. Go into SimCraft. Uh, helps if you have two screens, obviously. I'm doing it on one screen just so you guys can see what's going on. Control V it into there. And then what you want to do is you want to go just down a line. And you want to type in copy equals. And then just open your little uh, your parenthesis or whatever. And type in um, this is going to be. This, this setup here will be chain and faulty countermeasure. So we're going to type in uh, chain plus FCM. 
And this one here, this the, the default setup that we just put in, that was chain and um, Arcano Crystal, right? And then, so obviously we uh, need to put in the FCM. So to do that, all you do is, so you've put the faulty counter measure on, that's in Trinket 2 slot. You just go into Sim C, like you did before, and then we're just gonna go to Trinket 2, because FCM is in Trinket 2, and now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna, you know, copy this right here, Control C that. Kinda looks like a little bit confusing, but honestly it's not, it's really quite simple. Uh, just go down another line, put in your second Trinket, and now uh, we want another setup because you know we've got you know this more than one combination we can do. We we'll do again copy equals and this is going to be uh, Arcano plus FCM. And you could keep doing this uh, for ages with so many different setups. It's just basically going to edit. So you can see here this is the default setup it's going to use. But if I was to put Trinket at two, it does the default plus whatever you've put in here. So I could add in. Uh, also I could go in here. I could get the talents for example. Could chuck those in there i could change so talents are really simple it's just you know this is you know line one so that's one two three you can see here it's on one because that's uh that's final verdict you could change that you can change that talent there you could do whatever i don't want to do that though i'm just going to using that as an example to do comparisons so if you want to compare uh different talent setups not even different items this is going to be give you a, a really easy way to quickly work out what is the best setup for doing you know what you're trying to do uh, so now I'm trying to do Arcano and FCM. To do that, I need to go change this one here. So obviously now, uh, this is I've changed both trinkets. So what I need to do is I need to go here, trinket 1 and trinket 2. And I just want to copy both these, like trinket 1, trinket 2. So that is the Arcano, that is the FCM. Go back to SimCraft. Arcano, FCM. And then you press Simulate. Obviously this is going to be running a bunch of sims, because it has to sim all of the different setups. Uh, so through the power of the video editing magic and boom as you can see here we have three different setups you can see the chain arcano coming out on top by a small margin followed by arcano plus fcm followed by chain plus svm they're all very very close let's be honest here um but this allows you to see which is the best setup um so now you can't just take these you know and, and just be like yes this is correct uh because you know running fcm gives you advantages like it's kind of like stored damage, right? It's damage that's going to be up during your cooldowns. Uh, and when you're moving around, it's technically not, not being wasted. Whereas, you know, Chain Arcano, to get the full value out of it, you have to be, you know, up on the target 100% uptime. So, you know, in fights where there's a, you know, bit of movement, Arcano plus FCM probably is slightly better than Chain and Arcano. Versus a Patrick fight where you've got absolute uptime the entire time, and you're just doing big dick damage the whole time. Okay, this is probably going to be the best setup. Um, so you have to, you know, think about it a little bit in your head. But if it's just straight stats versus stats, um, you know, and there's really no huge differences between the items, you can just be like, okay, so this is the best setup. And now from here, I can just be like, all right, so Chain Icano is the best setup, and all I have to do is just click on this, and that's just going to bring up your normal profile. You just go in here, like normal, copy, go back into WoW, and just do, like I showed you guys, just go in here, import, control V, and you're good to go. Uh, do remember, you want to import them all as the same name, otherwise you're going to create multiple profiles. So you can see here, I'm just going to go here and quickly uh, just change it to Quinn Rat. That way it's just going to overwrite, and I'm just going to have one profile. Because you can have multiple profiles up, so when you highlight over an item, it'll tell you like, you know, this is going to be an upgrade for a uh, single target, but downgrade for AoE, etc, etc. Uh, we're not going to go into that. Otherwise, that is pretty much it, guys. It's honestly that easy. Uh, don't let people fool you and make it sound like SimCraft is some crazy hard thing. I've heard, like, guilds have, like, SimCrafters and stuff who go around and Sim people's characters for them. And it's, 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 it's honestly really easy, and anyone can do it. Um, hopefully, I would have answered all your questions. If you have any questions, I would highly suggest going to my Twitch stream. Uh, that's Twitch TV uh, forward slash Quinn69. I can answer any, th any questions you have live there, but hopefully this has covered everything. Uh, otherwise, definitely follow my Twitter as well. That's uh, Quinn Rex. Uh, you can ask me questions there. I do reply to most of my tweets. I'm actually, uh, you know, getting really active on that stupid-ass social media platform. I'm um, trying to, you know, be social and stuff. It's actually a little bit fun, you know, I'm not going to lie. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, peace the hell out, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one.